In this video, we're going to talk about applying datum feature symbol. The datum feature symbols are going to be located right here under the datum feature in the annotation tab. I'm going to press datum feature. And I'm going to go ahead and look for places that I want to be uh, identify as datum features. So there's essentially two kinds of datum features. There's datum surface features and features of size. We'll deal with surface features first. To apply this datum to this bottom surface, I can either apply it here directly to the surface or to an extension line that attaches to it. Either one works. I'll press here. It only requires one click. The second click will place the datum feature symbol. I click again and it automatically uh, resets and lets me apply another datum feature. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll choose this surface as a secondary datum. This one I'll apply to the extension line. And again, we just move it around and drop it where we need it. And it'll automatically extend the extension line. The third datum feature will be this edge right here. I'll apply it directly to the feature, bring it up here, and I'm good to go. I've got a a full datum reference frame with three surface features. If I wanted to apply datum feature symbol to features of size, I would go about it slightly differently. There's essentially two features of size, two regular features of size. There's cylindrical features, holes and shafts and pins, and width features. I'll start uh, with a, a width feature. I'll have two center planes on this part that identify the datum reference frame. Go to datum feature. I'll make this dimension uh, a feature of size. So I just click on the dimension. It's going to pick a side. Come up here, click on the dimension, place my symbol. And for this particular datum reference frame, the last one would need to be that surface to uh, lock it in translation. If I come back here and try to move this up and down, it won't do it. If you remember, the reason is that this identifies it as a feature of size. It's got to be lined up with the dimension. Okay, So if I move this, that datum feature symbol is going to follow. When you're placing datum feature symbols, you want to watch out. You don't want to accidentally place this in line with the dimension. You'll give the downstream customer a, a false idea of where the datum actually is. Good drafting practice is to place the datum feature symbol like this so there can never be a question about what that datum feature symbol applies to. The next feature of size we could use would be the cylindrical feature of size. So in this case, I'll make this inside diameter the primary datum. I'll apply the datum feature symbol directly to the dimension. Good to go. Another technique, a lot of times you're already going to have a feature control frame with your dimension. So say I applied a straightness dimension to this uh, straightness dimension to this hole. Okay, so I'll apply straightness dimension 10 thou at MMC. Find it, place it right here. In this case, I would put the datum feature symbol directly on the uh, feature control frame for that feature of size. One other technique. Occasionally your cylindrical features of size will be called out with uh, extension lines instead of a leader. So I'll give you an example. If you wanted to make this feature uh, a datum, I would come to datum feature, apply it directly to the dimension, not the extension line. I'll bring it over so it looks nice. So this axis will now be the feature of size. One other little bit while we're here, if you're going to do this, you want to apply a center line to this feature to let people know that axis is going to be your datum feature. Okay. 